Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we are going to be tackling the subject of the gym girl recording men, calling them creepy, boosting ego phenomenon that is happening. I've done a video in the past about this that performed very well. You guys really enjoyed that video, so I've covered this before, but I wanna cover it again because it just continues to get worse. So many of you sent me this, so many of you tagged me in it. There's actually two videos. I'm gonna do the one that I think you guys probably haven't seen as much um, because this other video, I've seen it everywhere. Like on every big channel, a million reactions. Um, so you guys have definitely probably seen that. I'm gonna do the other one first and then we'll get into the, the crazy one. So let's get into it. So she's getting ready to do her walking lunges with her weights, taking up a pretty good amount of space on this track in the middle of the gym. A guy walks by behind her, looks her direction, and then continues to walk. And she says, you can't make this up. I feel so uncomfortable right now. Here's the thing. Someone looking your direction is not creepy. It's only creepy if you don't like the way that person looks or if you want an ego boost, okay? Let's be so serious. I can say this from a woman's perspective, putting myself in the shoes of this woman. If I'm at the gym and a guy looks my direction, I don't give a hoot because it's a public space that we're all using. I find myself accidentally looking at people or staring at people. I see a girl with a big butt that I know she's just done squats and looks great. I'm like, wow, she looks good. Or I see a guy who's super jacked, you know, looking, I'm like, wow, that guy's got it going, like these people got it going on. They're here to better themselves. They're here for a reason. They want to look good. They're taking care of their health. Sue me if I look at you. Sorry. The second thing that I think is so interesting about these videos is the girls claim that it's making them so uncomfortable when a guy is looking their direction or glancing at them they feel creeped out, they think it's creepy, they feel uncomfortable, yet they're posting a video online for millions of people to see. First of all, her butt was just out in that video. She was wearing very short shorts, not shaming what she's wearing, it's your choice what you wear to the gym. But millions of people could potentially see your butt online and that doesn't creep you out or make you uncomfortable, but a guy looking your direction does? Going off of that point, these girls are posting the gyms that they work out in, where if you creep on their profiles, it's very easy to find out where they're located, and then in return would be incredibly easy to find out the gym that they're in. So if you're really creeped out or uncomfortable, I would be deeply concerned that you're posting the public gym that you work out in when you're going, and someone online that's a creep could easily find you, stalk you, and find you in person. That's creepy. That makes me uncomfortable. More so than someone glancing my direction. Do we not see, do we see the disconnect there? Like, am I the only one thinking that? <laughs> I haven't watched anyone else's reaction videos, so I don't know if anyone's been thinking that too, but that's always my first thought of like, it's so uncomfortable for you that a guy's looking your direction, yet you're posting a video online for millions of people to see with your public location? Whew. Okay, before I say anything else, let's watch this next video because I actually have not watched it all the way through. I only watched the very beginning and I haven't watched anyone else's reactions to it. So I don't even know what I'm in for, but I've just <laughs> seen this video freaking everywhere. So let's watch it. This is how to not approach girls at the gym. Oh my God, she's literally whispering into her microphone saying horrible things about this guy. <laughs> Off to a good start. She's calling him feral. You don't want people to watch you, but you're posting a video hip thrusting online.
that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. <gasps> Wait, what did she say? It says, what if I just ripped his pee pee out of its socket so he could never reproduce again? This is why I don't want kids. Natural selection better take these weirdos out. He's going to jail for staring at an underage 21 year old. You're saying all this about him? Yet he's the weirdo? No ma'am, I think it's you. I think you're the problem. He just offered to help you. Gosh, I wish more people would offer to help me. I got a personal trainer for that reason. I'm like, I can't even lift this. Anyway, continuing. See what I mean? All right, here we go. Let's go to the girls. I think it's some girl friends. This is ridiculous. I've got to be careful. I've got to be fucking careful. What part of me working out by myself looks like I'm a damsel in distress? She feels unsafe in a public gym. Be so for real. You feel unsafe because a guy looked your direction, glanced at you, and offered to help you put a weight on your machine. If that makes you uncomfortable, you're in for a rude awakening for the rest of your life. See, and this is what makes me so upset is that there are actually creeps and weirdos out there and this whole boy cries wolf thing, or I guess a girl cries wolf in this case, is just watering it down. Like a guy looking at you is not creepy. A guy glancing your direction is not creepy. I, I just, I don't, I can't even comprehend it. And this is clearly to just boost your ego. Does it feel good when people look at you at the gym? I think so. And then they post this online so that it's like, oh, look at all these guys looking at me. Look at these guys being so creepy and making me so uncomfortable. They're so obsessed with me. I feel so unsafe. That's what makes you look like a damsel in distress when you post a video like this, saying that you feel unsafe because a man glanced your direction. That's giving damsel in distress. Another thing that makes me upset about these gym videos is that for a lot of people, men included in this, going to the gym is a scary thing. It feels very intimidating for a lot of people. It's a big step for a lot of people. Is that the case for the guys in these videos? I don't know. But I think the gym feels very intimidating for a lot of people. And now the fact that you also have to worry about being filmed and mislabeled as a creep for glancing someone's direction just adds another layer of intimidation to it that doesn't need to be there. The gym is a place where you're going to better yourself, to improve your health and your well-being, and to make positive changes in your life. Like, I don't know what girls want from guys at this point. Do you want them to wear those like blinder glasses that horses have to wear when they're walking on the road so that they don't get distracted by things in their peripheral vision? Because that's what it seems like. And even if someone does actually approach you at the gym as they did in the videos that I've done in the past where I reacted to girls at the gym making videos like this or similar videos to this, even if someone is not your cup of tea, you don't need to be mean to them or make them feel horrible or belittle them or patronize them and post a video roasting them online. Once you get to the level of posting a video roasting someone online who clearly has not done anything, it's just an ego boost at that point and it's so obvious and I don't understand how anyone in the comments could even think or say otherwise. It's just always so obvious to me when people are posting videos for clout or attention or an ego boost. And this, these two are included. And videos like this do make me understand why men are hesitant to approach women. I get it. 
I actually posted on my YouTube community page here and I did a poll and I asked men if they were hesitant to approach women out of the fear of being seen as creepy and I think like 30 something thousand people voted and 65% voted that they don't approach women for that reason or they're scared of being seen as creepy. So I've made a ton of videos about this whole creepy phenomenon and how we've just watered it down. As women, we've watered it down to a point where you just think a guy's unattractive and call him creepy. And I think it's sad, I really do. Of course there are bad apples, but I don't think most men look at you and try to make you feel uncomfortable. Like that is not their intention. Again, I find myself staring at people all the time, glancing at people all the time. Luckily, I'm a woman, so nobody says anything about it. A man would not record me and post me and blast me online. Oh, look at this creepy girl staring at me. I'm so uncomfortable. Be so real. How do you even post that with a straight face? Like, I just don't, I don't get it. So again, I know I've covered this in the past. I've spoken my piece here. It just continues to get worse, which is why I wanted to talk about it again. And with the way that this video has gone viral, um, I just wanted to bring attention to it and give you guys a woman's perspective that some of us see right through this and not all of us are this way. I think there are still a lot of women who would be flattered if you approach them at the gym, but I understand after seeing this why you guys don't even bother with it or want to. I hope women see these videos and see through it the way that I have and you know understand that it is harmful and detrimental to men's mental health to label all of them a creep. Imagine how that would feel. Horrible. We've got to cut this out. It's sad and the things that she was saying about this man in this video were vile and disgusting. And she deserves the backlash she's getting for that. Normally, I really try to keep it respectful and graceful, but that was disgusting. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comments. If you liked this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you have any stories or experiences to share where something similar has happened to you, please share it down in the comments. Would love to hear your thoughts and concerns and just get a conversation going down in the comments and discuss this with each other. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.